Happy Saturday, Roulette Fools. This is Brent with AOB. We are about to jump into the Saturday giveaway. This is our very first one, so I'm really excited. Uh, put everybody on pause, and once I get in there, uh, we'll resume, okay? But uh, so I'm, I'm recording now. I'm recording right now. So um, give me a second here. So you can see everybody. We we did the spin in the drawings. Newbie Noob did not come online. So he got Ixnade. But the following five here have uh, voice checked and are in the and qualify based on the rules. So these five people are the folks that we'll be going in next. Okay, so we're going to get going. Um, basically, my thoughts are on this. So I'm going to, my goal for you guys is to get a total of $500 today. That's that's where I'd like to get to. I'm going to play slow and steady, you know, not too slow, not too steady. As you see, my balance at the very top is $2,000. So I've put everything else into the vault. I'm willing to go lose $2,000 for you fellows and ladies tonight. I think it's all fellows today, right? Um... That's it. I'm going to bounce around. If you're on your mic, the five members, do you guys, even though I'll, I reserve to play it however I want, I'm kind of curious. Is there a game you guys would prefer? <laughs> if you had your choice, which game would you prefer? Live roulette, digital roulette, or dice? Where would you like to see me go? Live roulette. All right, one for live. Yeah. Really? You guys want to go live? Okay. I, I guess that's because you guys saw the, the dice debacle and now you're scared, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Live roulette it is. I think what we'll do is, and a second ch choice I'll give you, just out, this is my own curiosity. Would you rather I go and play five double streets or nine streets? I'd say nine streets. Nine streets. All right. Let's go give it a try. Let's start it out here. Nine streets for me and then double streets for backup. Okay. All right. Let's see where we're going. Because I was I was almost considering going five double streets at 500 bucks, right? And getting 100 bucks a pop. <laughs> Let's give it a go here. All right. Darn, on my um, on my screen recording, I, I should have I should have turned on um, the system sounds so that viewers can hear you guys, what you're talking more. Let's see. 25, 26, 21, 13. We're gonna go uh, straight up. Let's 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 ease into it. See what we can get. All right, 500 bucks. We should do all right here. We should do all right. I mean, I'm super stoked about this. Um, and I should also note that we're gonna we're gonna kind of round up the numbers, right? So if we end up at 502 dollars, we're just gonna go 500. Okay, guys. Um, I'm not going to divide up cents, but if we get to a, an even number, as I say, five twelve, I'll make it five fifteen. Then you guys get uh, three extra dollars each. And I want to, and just so everybody knows, you guys aren't related to me in any way, shape, or form. I don't. I've never met you guys. Never seen you guys. We were kind of joking about it before as a kind of a prank to put in AOB brother, AOB cousin, AOB sister. You know. All right, we're gonna go one more. Yeah, yeah. And so again, for for the members out there that aren't in Discord who are watching this, because I this will be posted uh, later today. I'll be posting this as soon as we finish and it gets rendered and stuff. Uh, this is our first giveaway challenge. I'm I'm gonna shoot for one every week, um, and. For the first couple weeks, don't guarantee it. Maybe every other week. I have to see what Saturdays could be tough. We may have to make them a little earlier or whatever. Okay, there's a loss. That's all right. That's why we're doing this $1 bet. But for all the viewers, I just want to make sure everybody knows that this is legit. This is real. I, you know, wasn't just saying we're going to do it to get you into Discord and then not do something. We're going we're gonna to go for it here. Oh, really? Okay. I will definitely work on getting the YouTube streaming up and running this week then. And right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. All right. Hmm. 
Okay, well, the gods have spoken. Let's see if we jump over. What are we down? 24? Okay. All right. That's the, I guess this is the good news. Like I was talking yesterday is when you start getting used to big numbers and you look over and you go 24 bucks. I mean, <laughs> but then when I was playing dice yesterday and the day before, just playing around and you get used to really, really small bets and you're like, oh shit, I'm up to $96 on a dice bet. You start going, oh, and then I remind myself, I think I was up to $12,000 on dice bets. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get rolling here. Let's go. Let's make some tracks, man. I would love to get this thing up around three hundred dollars, so then we can. Uh, there we go. Because I would love, I do want to go over and play some of the other games here, and I would love to go play a little bit of five, five double streets, and then go hit a little bit of dice. I've been playing. For those of you that um, haven't been following Discord much, I've been playing that game called Crash. It's uh, it's not a thing I would do here because it's really slow. It takes quite a bit of time in between each thing, but it's been pretty interesting. I've been doing pretty well on that, but I was doing pretty well on dice last week too, right? <laughs> okay, come on. That, uh, that's awesome. It sounds awfully complicated of streaming my stream on your stream, but hey. All right, we're going to go for it, fellas. We're going to start making some tracks. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> All right, come on. Who do we got? I remember what, what's her name? Nadeha. Let's go. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I was about to say lucky number seven before it dropped. <laughs> you should have. You always say that. You do. And once we were close, remember it was a pretty big bet, and you said seven, and it hit eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, hey, we're doing well. Can't wait till it gets up to about 135, right? Then we're playing with house money. But uh, we'll get it, fellas. We'll get it. You guys are the first five. You get the advantage because, I mean, you're going to go down in immortal history as the first five. The downside is that this is sort of cutting our teeth on this, right? So <laughs> we don't know how this is going to go. Oh, come on now. All right, here we go. Start diving in the deep end. Maybe I need to go to 134. How's she looking? 27, 28. That would have been a hit miss. 20, 10, 34, 6. That would have been a miss. I don't know. Nothing's looking good with her right now, so we'll see. We'll just stick with where we're at. Okay. I'll quote the immortal, the roulette master. That's why we still have a really huge bankroll. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What do you fellas think? You're five. You want me to stay double or you want me to go back down and play it normal? Nothing? All right. Let's play it how I would play it. Let's play it the normal way. We got a full hour. I don't even think it's going to take that long, but we got a full hour. You guys are free to chat at all. That's another part of the deal. You guys are free to talk at anything you want, so it doesn't just have to be me up here. All right. Come on now. Get us back and get us a couple more wins. Nadeja. Nice. All right. We were good there. We would have won on either side of that. All right. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's get us up close to our first hundy. So to review... Uh, say that again. I'm sorry I cut you off. Sorry. I was just going to say if you were doing a double streets, that 2 and 36 would have come up and I really think it would have 
<laughs> right, right. We wouldn't be, luckily, we wouldn't be on this server, though, because they don't allow double streets here. Or the, they don't allow five double streets. Someone also posted in the in the messages yesterday videos like, is it unlimited? No, the, what I was saying yesterday is that the online ones, oh, all right, you know what? Oh, let's clear that. I'm gonna go one, three, four. I feel like she's bouncing around between first street and fourth street. Anyway, they were saying, um, does the online was I meaning that they have unlimited mat now, but on the other server per street, it's a $5,000 max limit. I mean, 5,000, that's a lot of martingaling. That's, that's $45,000 bet. That would be an awesome bet. Wouldn't it though? That'd be a $15,000 win. Which do you prefer? Which say that again? This I prefer this server for the features because it lets me save bets and whatnot. Um, but I definitely prefer the uh, the other server because it has higher limits. It lets you play full on. This one limits you to twenty seven number coverage. And uh, yeah, the other server though this one is a lot more responsive when you click. The other server has a lag. The the whatever they're doing, however they code it or however they're streaming is, it's, it can be really laggy. On both servers, I really hate that there's not a clear all button. Like on Bet Online, you can say undo or, or you can, there's a button that specifically says clear it all. This one you have to click and hold and it sometimes it takes a second. Okay, 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 okay. I think that's the uh, evolution thing. Is that right? Right. Right. What I think I'm going to do here is if we get a loss, I should stop the recording altogether and restart it so I can activate. Um, it's kind of sucks on um, Canstasia that you can't adjust like my video. I can't stop showing myself. It doesn't give me those options. I have to choose those options so i need to activate um system sounds so that everybody can hear you guys talking because my mic isn't going to pick you guys up so that kind of sucks but we're not going to pause right now because we're doing well all right well that's good we broke out of the ceiling sometimes you get in that and you can't but now we broke through so that's good all right This is pretty good. If, if, if this will be good to me, the last two days, man, 9th Street has just been kicking my ass. All right, let's go. Let's get a string of them here. Nine and four, not great. Okay. We're doing well as long as she keeps hitting the first and the fourth streets. I think it was a good switch. Yeah, 25 would have been a loss, or 35 would have been a loss, depending on which way we're going. 13, 36, yeah. All right. Keep on keeping on. Actually, while this is spinning, I am going to... Uh, no. Da -da -da -da. All right, come on. Let's roll. Well, the good news is we're playing with house money now, 141. And just as I say that. All right, let's go. Okay. Maybe I will take this opportunity. All right. Sorry, everybody, for a moment of disruption. On If you're watching the video, we just turned on system audio so you can hear people talking. And we won that one. Good. Let's get it back. Break the ceiling. Sorry I didn't turn that on, everybody, at the beginning so that you would have been able to hear. And I, like I said, I totally missed the drawing. I forgot to click record when we were doing the actual spin drawing. I'll get it next time. Like I said, we're still kind of cutting my teeth on all this. And it's, believe it or not, it's actually... 
I struggled with it, especially in the beginning of you're playing and you got to remind yourself to be talking. And now I'm playing, talking and actually interacting. So kudos to those YouTube content creators that like do this seamlessly. Oh, come on, man. You get, it's like you can't get a streak, streak going. Yeah, I know. That's how it's been. Okay. We're gonna stick with this. I feel I feel I feel okay. We're gonna stick with this, but now the downside, right? We got to stay at two seventy twice and then drop down in order to break even. So we got to th we got to hit three to break even. That's okay. Someone said it should be a you know you should expect to lose and it should be more normal you know, or ex you should be more normal to lose and you know it's more of a surprise when you win i don't know we're doing 73 percent it gets a little frustrating when we were like yesterday i think i was below a one a two ratio Ugh. oh no <laughs> all right we got to make our comeback now and we got a new dealer chain so what we're going to do is rather than wait we will go down to a uh We'll just go down nine, give her a couple, and then we're gonna hit her hard. Maybe we might bump over to the other server and get on a five street. We'll see how she goes. There, yeah, she cracked a smile, so that's good news. Barely, barely cracked a smile. All right, come on. Let's see how she's trending. I know, I know, all the people who say it doesn't matter, but we like to think it does. Yeah, I think it, I think it does matter. I do too. I've, I've noticed that a long time playing that dealers in between changes, it's wildly different, the, the patterns that they're rolling, wildly different. Yep, um, they bring out a new dealer, I leave. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, when I'm playing, um, I think I've said this, when I'm playing – in person and I get a new dealer, I usually step, step out for a bit and see how they're rolling because rarely have I done it where I get onto a dealer that's just, and I've got it tuned in and then they change dealers. Rarely have I had it where two dealers in a row, I'm winning, rarely. And maybe that's on me for not adjusting very well. Okay, let's give this one more go. Um, we're going to ease, uh, I don't know. I feel like I want to go for it here. Let's go for it. Boy bets. Right? We didn't do 540, did we yet? Okay, we haven't done 540. That's another thing is when I'm recording and stuff and I'm paying attention, I, I kind of lose track of my betting sometimes. That's all right. All right, let's get some. Let's get some. 31, 34. We want 34. <laughs> Come on. Nice. We'll take that. We'll Very take nice. that. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's go. It yeah. could also be a Q and A if you have questions for him. Yeah, if anybody's got questions or any of you guys got anything or whatever, this is your chance. This is a live stream, so anybody can type in comments as well. And if it's a good one or whatever, then I leave it up to Max and um, Swizzle Sticks to decide if they want to unmute you. That's up to them, or just read out your Every, question. I know, Swelly. I apologize in advance that I just won't call you by your real. <laughs> oh, mofo. Come on now. Jeez. All right. You know what? We're going to go. Now, this server, see, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one takes me forever to get in it. I don't know why. And then it'll do this for a while. Someone said, someone asked, what's your like max loss in get on your, on the five street? I mean like two five streets. On five streets here? Yeah. Uh, I think my max loss I've ever had was uh, a 
five street vet. Cool. And it, I, I told myself a new dealer was coming up and I said, I always step away when a new dealer and I said, ah, and I was with my daughter and actually I had placed the bet and then they did the dealer change. Um, and I, I had a chance and I, my, I was in Vegas at the Mandalay, um, with my daughter and I was like, Ugh. And she's like, Hey, they just changed the dealer. You got your bet on the table. And I was like, you know, it was, it was $900 streets. And, um, I was like, she's like, you, you should pull your thing. Right. And I was like, uh, and the famous words that I always say, then I always lose is, ah, we're here to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to gamble. Let's go for it. I didn't follow my rules that I always follow. She rolls a zero on the very first spin. Jesus. I was like, ah. Oh. In, in live roulette, can you like turn your bets off like you can at craps? If you've got a cool like dealer, possible. you can tell them if it's like ticking down, you can say, it, but it's, it's really depends on the dealer. I've asked a few dealers at times, say, if I say cancel my bet, some of them will say, okay, some of them won't. If they, if they've already say, let's waved off the table, they won't change anything. Some of them, it just depends on the type, type of dealer. I would say probably more often than not, they'll say no. If they wave off, you're stuck. But does anybody else have experience with that? Uh, I mean, there's only been i think twice that i've ever tried to wave off a, a bet and that was only because i put it in the wrong place and they one time they allowed it and one time they didn't and luckily i won on both of those so or i didn't win on the first one i, I don't know remember but the second one where i did it i would oh my God. Holy. all right where was the last time she hit a 35 all right um yeah All right. No sweat, fellas. No sweat. We still got this. Now, I mean, you could definitely do that in craps, right? You can tell the dealer, hey, off on, off on everything or whatnot. And they, they'll, they'll wave those off even if they're just getting... Whoo, doggy. All right, I thought we were in hot water there for a second. All right, you know what? It's time to pick up the pace. So, on when you play the five streets, whatever, like one of the two streets is the bet is how much you're gonna make after profit if it hits. Whatever your unit is, yeah, that's what you, on a five street. Whatever your unit is, that'll be your profit. Well, that's why you said you can do that five times at a hundred dollars and be done with it if it hits. Right. Yeah, you could come in. But like I said, I for me, typically five streets is a, a, a last usually a last ditch recovery. Or if I have extra change and I'll come up to a table, I know normally only do this once or twice um, because it's just such a hard system to recover. Unless, like I said, if you go to a, a, a casino where they have a 25 min bet, which happens. Um, we're just going to drop back down real quick, fellas. Um, five dollar double streets is a great way to get around the twenty five dollar table and still not and still have a high percentage chance. You're only betting twenty five across the board. If you're looking to sit there and play for a long time, five dollar double streets is a great way at a, to get around those those min bets or the, when it's super high like that, a twenty five dollar table, which happens all the time, right at Vegas. By the way, if by chance my computer happens to lock up. I'll be back in. It's, it's I gotta replace my hard drive <clears throat> or something. I just maybe I just need to reload Windows. All right, <clears throat> we're looking pretty good. Let's go back in. Oops. See, how did it get that at 75 from a double? It does that periodically. Anybody? That is weird. That's what it was weird. Yeah. I've tried playing around. Like, is it a special double click that it only goes up one unit? And that's what I like about the um, the ETG machines. When you play them in live, you can go up one unit. They have more options. I wish they had that, or you're just going up one unit, because then you could go to 75. You could go to 125 a lot easier. All right, all right, all right. Come back, nice. Okay. 
Let's see here, 29,927. I'm gonna go back to a 25. All right, 433. And then how are we looking for nine streets? I, I did okay on nine streets here yesterday, I thought. Look at that, there's, she's kind of, it's kind of all over the place. I'm looking at these numbers and there's just no, it's good on the other servers when you find, and we were actually up until we got our ass kicked on that 540, they were hitting first and fourth street a lot. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're at 1592. Let's see here, 408. This was the last loss. I'm gonna leave it at 25. I also wish they had a halving button right here. So far, and we had a dealer, I think there was a dealer change, right, when we came in. Um, yeah. I mean, so far it's hitting, it hasn't been hitting those outside numbers, but I don't, yeah. Whew, just as I say that. All right, 25 at a time. Just for a switch up. Let's just kick in here for a change up real quick. If my math is right, the last 20 spins, 10 of them have been in the 19 to 27. Really? <laughs> 10 of them have been 19 through 27 up there? Yeah, look at that. 19, 19, 22, 19. Wow. Yeah, so yep, you should I'm change this street down here and cover these streets yep. right here. Yeah, I'm tracking yeah. on my spreadsheet. Look at that, man. Let's do that. Let's try that. Let's do, uh, let's leave 7 to 10 open. Uh, one, two, three. Wait. And is that, is that, and the eighteen is only hit twice. Oh, it didn't let me move that. Okay, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. So we got rid of ten, so we were gonna move sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We could have moved that to the end is what we'll move next time. Phew, dodge the bullet there. All right, let's move it over. There we go. Let's increase. All right, we'll see how this rolls. See how this rolls. This is gambling. Just winning straight up. Yeah, that's great, but this, this is fun. Cause you try to, you're figuring out go how to beat like we're doing right now. Okay, how can we beat this? Man, still haven't hit that outside. So the five double streets have been working pretty good so far. Nice. There you go, just to the outside. Yeah, there, yeah. Those are just, the see, I tell you, I just think about something and whatever I'm thinking about, whatever would cause that to lose, that's what hits. Yeah, we should switch to five double streets. The outsides aren't hitting. Bam. It's the outside, yeah. Yeah, just thinking about it. Like I said, I don't know if it's just because literally it's just you're paying attention to that. Like when you go buy a new car and then suddenly you see that car everywhere. I, mm. I'm telling you, I swear, every time I'm walking up to a table and I'm thinking about my strategy and I look at the history board, the next bet, always a loss. Always a loss. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. What is that now? Where are we at? What was that? Um, it's in that 19 to 27 spot, too. Yeah, I guess all these numbers have been higher. All right. I'm going to make a little tracks here. So let's let's give it a go to 270.
I'm prone since it hit 34. Now that I'm saying it, it's not going to happen, but they have not repeated the outside streets, the 1, 2, 3, 34, 35, 36 streets. Nice. All right. $90. Slowly but surely. All right. We'll try it for a second here, and then I'll bring it back down. Like I said, I wish they had a having button so you could just have these easily. He's definitely favoring the high numbers. Thank yeah. you, 36. Yeah, I'm looking up there for sure. You could play two dozens on this and be very successful this whole way, just playing two dozens, you know? Yep. And the moment we do it, it's going to start on a 15 number first dozen streak. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So a member asked this question, you don't have to answer if, it, if you don't want to, if it's too personal, but they ask him, what was your Bitcoin price when you started investing in crypto? Uh, when I very first started investing in crypto, it was, hold on one second, let me get this bet placed. Um, i just going to go five streets real quick. When I first got into crypto, Bitcoin was about $16,000. And then... I kept investing in that and then it started dropping. And um, when it got down to about $8,000, um, I bought a bunch in at $8,000. I was really, I was just very confident in um, the future of crypto. And so, wow, look at that. Bounce around the, <laughs> the three and the 35. Oof. All right, let's go back to what we were doing. Let's see, we were doing... Um, we were leaving 710, we were leaving 18, right? Yeah. Um, so it hit around eight. I was really confident and, you know, not just, I don't think people understand that crypto is that currency, but I don't think a lot of people understand what's going on behind the scenes, which is the blockchain. And the blockchain, I won't get too much into it. It's basically the tracking system of how they do the transactions and how that blockchain works. Oh, nice. And uh, that blockchain still, there's a ton of upward opportunity in that. For example, um, do we stay at 90? Let's go up 130. Let's get our bets back to 135. For example, companies are gonna be able to utilize that blockchain internally for accounting purposes, budgeting, and, and transactions within a company. Um, hey, look at we're only down 138, fellas. Um, actually, when I was just leaving Nike, about six months before I left Nike, we had a separate group. We had something cool. Actually, a really good friend of mine started it. Um, and it was, innovation so we started like this innovation think tank and anybody in nike could come and join this innovation think tank and um the idea was get employees to come in and have these great ideas right to promote stuff and um one of the ideas that first started was hey how can we get blockchain to work at nike for inventory for this and that especially transferring stuff between departments you could have blockchain anyway it was at that point that I was going, wow, that really opened my eyes to what is behind that and the, the opportunities. It's not just it's not just a it's not just a Bitcoin. There's not just a, a fake made up dollar amount. Man, look at this. You're right, bud. They're just crushing that high number. Looky, looky. Forty eight bucks. All right. Come on. I shouldn't even said anything. Anyway, at that point, I started really looking into crypto and blockchain and learning. Um, and at that point, I was sold that I knew it might take a while, but I was sold on cryptocurrencies. And that's when I when it came down, I think it might have even gone down lower than 8000. I'll have to go back and look at the history. But I started putting money in that um, and then let it ride. Uh, that, it's always been a long term hold for me. Um, I don't do a lot. Whoo! Look at That's that. Good. We just beat it on the island right there. Okay, what are we at now? Three dollars. You know what? Just so that 
we don't press our luck let's just get back to even come on now this is see this is what's fucking fun anyway it was the 8,000, it was a long hold, and I knew that it would take some time for adoption, but once it became once it became a household item where everybody, because no one knew about it, right? That, and that's what it was really holding it back. It was like this dark secret that people were like, oh, who's doing that stuff? That's weird, that's, you know, black market stuff. And, uh, booyah. Good call, my friend, good call on switching the streets. Look at that. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take it slow here, a couple. I'm waiting for a hit here before we go on hard. But anyway, once it became, and then obviously once ETFs were allowed, man, I'm looking at ETFs and now all these other cryptocurrencies. Uh, for those who don't know what ETFs is, the electronic electronic traded funds. It's basically allowing. It's sort of think of it like sort of a a mutual fund. They're not. So if you go into like. Um, Let's say Kathy Woods, you know, she's like this notorious person for every, you either love her or you hate her. Um, they can create a fund or a, a, almost like a stock that's based off the currency. It's not the currency, but it's based off of it. So it, in, in essence, you can invest through your normal broker. Um, let's just call it a stock. And it's actually mirroring a cryptocurrency. So now you can go to any brokerage now and legally, because they passed it on Bitcoin and I think a couple others, you can now open to the masses, invest in those funds. And I don't know. I just see it as, I think there will be some fallout. I don't know, because there's so many cryptocurrencies now, right? And everybody thinks they're the same. And that's the pro problem is they're not the same. A lot of these currencies have specific reasons behind them. Oh, there's our first loss. Good. Okay, well. We were going low. Are you looking into or are you hopeful in an altcoin besides Bitcoin? I am. I mean, I think there's a bunch. I have to go back and look. Right now, I'm invested probably 95% is in Bitcoin. And then I have 5% I've put in other things like Dogecoin, Lite. Um, I'll have to go look at Ethereum. I have to go back and look at, it. but what I like to look on those cryptocurrencies is go behind and see what the purpose is of those crypto, and then try to judge based on that. Do, what do I think the opportunity is behind that? And to me, that's a bigger driving factor than just looking at the coin and going, "What's its?" You know, it's kind of like looking at a stock, right? And going, "Do I think? Um, do I think this one? Do I think the company has value? So that, like, for example, I said way back in the day, I invested in Apple. I put, I moved a hundred percent of my assets into Apple because I believed in the company, and that way I knew that no matter what it did, up or down, if you if you really truly believe in the long term of that company, it's a great long term hold stock. Um, and Apple has, you know, done great. Even though I'm an Android guy, I can't stand iPhones. Um, not, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just the interface and everything just doesn't work for me. Um, so I, th I, I believe the same way on the cryptos. Look at, look at what the, what the purpose is behind it. Dudes, we're crushing this. Okay, here we go. Let me focus here for a second. Where are we at? I don't even know what that last bet was. Oh, that was a $90 bet. Let's get back up. Last 33 spins, 23 have been on the high side, 19 to 36. Damn. I would, I mean, I'm almost tempted to try playing two dozens here, but I, did, I will curse it because I never do well you're on two great. dozens. What's you're that? doing great. Yeah. I said you're doing great as he is. <laughs> thanks. Look at this, man. We were down 663. 650, yeah, 663 was our low. Oh, there's our first hit is, of course, right when we go to 135. I'm going to leave the bet the same. I'm not going to double it on this first one. Let's just leave it the same, just in case lightning. Anywho, that's my thoughts on crypto, and I'm, I'm excited about crypto. It's because, to me, there may be a weeding, a thinning out of currencies that don't get into an ETF, but I don't know. Um... I do know there's some great things that people don't know about with blockchain and stuff that's happening with businesses and they may never. It's almost like AI, right? I mean, so many things are being driven now and pushed forward with AI.
It's it's insane. It's insane. Yeah, I follow Alex Becker on YouTube, and he's huge on crypto. I mean, he said that he lost $12 million the other day, but I guess he's got nine figures in crypto. Wow. And he, he said AI is, he said, that's what I'm going to be going after. Bitcoin yeah. and AI. He said, that's huge. Oh, and gaming, electronic gaming. He said that was the other one. Really? Electronic gaming, huh? Oh, yeah. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how AI with electronic gaming and how that's going to play because you could get some real interactivity going in the games. I mean, you could I, I can just see the the future of that not yeah, just being a static have, game with other players, but actually the game itself interacting in certain ways. Yeah, they have uh, competitive gaming leagues. I know a few people that are on them. Really? And that's their job is competitive right. gaming. Right, right, right. See, now this is where I hate this server. Can't save. Yeah, I mean, I like gaming. I'm, I'm just a Battlefield guy myself, so EA. Um, but, I mean, yeah, you can just totally see it. It's huge. I, I, don't, I don't know if I have the long-term vision for that, for the gaming, so I, I'll have to look into it. I don't know if I'd get into it, but definitely AI... I mean, and, and the thing about great with the AI is those are going to affect the stocks that you already have, too. If you have if you're invested in companies that can really take advantage of AI, um, then you're going to benefit from that boon, too. All right. There we go. Wait, were we only. Damn it, Jim. I'm an idiot. I meant to go to 135. See, you guys are getting me all hot and bothered with stock and crypto and that kind of talk that's probably about the only one of the only things i can talk about that maybe excite me as much if not maybe more than than roulette especially options i love options i, I actually have to step away from options because if you think i get crazy with roulette man i can go crazy with options overall it's panned out very well for me but i told a story the other uh shit all right do we need to think about a change here let's let's give it another chance here let's just stick with this it's it helped us get up here but i'm wondering if the tides aren't turning now because right at some point statistically these things will even out and maybe we're on that turn but so far so good there's only been two hits there seven and eight so let's see if we can Get back to the high end here. All right. Ooh, we're almost at an hour, so I'm going to give you guys more. I mean, I, if, if as long as you guys are willing to stay, I'm willing to stay. I just put an hour in there as, as a, a placeholder. Yep, oh, my goodness. Yep, she's swinging it back. Look at that. All right. Damn it, Jim. Uh, I'm going to go for it here. Um, yeah. And the cool thing with uh, stocks and options, just like roulette, is you have so many ways to play it, right? You can do puts. You can do calls, especially with options, zigzags. I mean, there's all these funky ways to play it. You don't just buy low and sell high. Then It's, it's very much like the game of roulette in that respect that you have multiple options to play it. All right, there we go. Come on now. 16. We would have lost on there again. See, those that's averaging out. Dang. Okay, let's get focused. You got me all excited about stocks. Okay, I need to I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, that's what I tell people. I tell my daughter. I mean, my daughter's 22, and she's been maxing out her Roth now for quite quite a few years. As I said, man, the law of compounding, right? I mean, the sooner you get it in, the better it is. Nice. Whew, I saw that 35 coming up. I'm like, no. All right. 
148. Come on. Let the casino you're, gods you're, be with us. You're asked if you exercise your options or to sell them. What's that? If you exercise your option. Yeah, so the thing with options are, right, it's you're basically buying or selling the right to buy that stock at a future price higher or lower. So for me, um, I think where people get confused is you're thinking you're going to buy or sell that option. And if you're buying that option with the right to buy, you're actually going to buy the stock. And it's not. The option itself is traded back and forth. Oh, no. oh! can you believe it? All right, we still got 1350. What am I gonna do with this? All right, we were 648 again. Dealer change, let's go back in low and slow here for a second. We got this. Um, yeah, so the option itself is traded commodity. And like I was saying, often, it, let's say you're buying a call for a future stock price at a, and you're paying, let's say $3 per option for a stock price, let's say three weeks away and you're buying it for three bucks, as that stock approaches that price, that option price is gonna start skyrocketing. Um, but it's very time-based because obviously the closer you get, the more the price is not gonna move because you're getting closer so you, can, you don't have as much time to achieve that price. <sighs> okay, what would I do here? Let's leave it at that. Mm, what would it look like that? I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, so yeah, you buy and trade it. And like I said, oftentimes for every 1% that stock moves, those option prices, especially if they're pretty far out, so there's a lot of change, man, those option prices will move 20 to 30%. Oof, buy that 36. Okay, where are we at? 563. Probably would have been easier just go with 25s and double it up. All right, come on now. Sandra, Sandra D, let's go. Oh my gosh, we're having absolutely atrocious luck. All right, fellas, we're going to do this. Let's see, 937. We are going to do this. We're going to have to kind of be gutsy here. We're going to go here once, and then we're going to double up a couple times, and we're going to switch over. I'll feel absolutely terrible if you... <laughs> I'll feel absolutely terrible if we don't give you guys a nice profit. We got this. We've been in bigger holes than this. We got some right. uh, comments on low roll dice. Low roll dice? Yeah, like low um, rolling dice. One second. What do you think, guys? Do we go in for a thousand and risk it all to get two hundred bucks back, or no? Anyone? Anyone? I mean, Rex, that, that one I once said. Martingale, like a true degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we didn't get a bet in. I didn't hear from you guys, so we didn't. I didn't get a bet in on time, and it would be great if it's a one, two, three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Oh, it's right by that thirty-six again. Oof. We got people saying 1K on black. <laughs> yeah, black. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. We're going to go for it, fellas. Sorry if we lose this. Sorry if we lose this. Just think. I'll be down two grand, though. So misery loves company? I don't know. <laughs> Nice. All right. Oh, oh my God. All right. 
I mean, I will literally stay on here as long as it takes to work back. So everyone else may want to jump off, but I promise you guys, as long as we got a balance, I'll be fighting this. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I will get us back. Okay, come on now. You know what I should have done, maybe? So, so that everybody knows, my weekly bonus this week, because of the massive amounts I bet and lost last, uh, good thing we dropped down to 25s. Man, what has she been hitting? 5, 11, 27, 13. Kind of been hitting those same streets again, right? Whoops. Oh, see, I'm telling you the responsiveness on this server. I just don't like it. What do we got? What is our bet here? It's 175. Okay. Well, it'd be nice if we hit one of the other ones because that'd give us an extra 25 bucks. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. All right. That's two zeros with this lady. Um, Three you know what we're going to do? Nine. Let's go play just a little bit of dice. Just oh, get our balance up. Trust me. Famous last words. Uh, All right. Everybody's cheering this one. Uh, yeah, this everybody's tight. Everybody is tight for now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Because I play, I play it a lot more conservatively now. But I've been, like I said, I, I got eighteen hundred yesterday. So we'll see. <laughs> I almost like to start it all over again. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit so people can hear the, the bling. Okay, we're at 1041. Well, let's make some tracks. We're gonna have to up this a little bit. Give me severe anxiety. <laughs> So the way I was playing it yesterday too is, um, well, I'm gonna wait till it hits. Ugh. Come on now, cooperate.
Anybody remember what what were we starting out at dice? Do you remember anybody the balance? Why you play with sixty percent, not seventy? Yes, it was. I, uh, I like sixty percent. It was nine eighty four around. Nine eighty four. Okay. It's a bit risky, no? For sixty percent. Um. I like it because you get back to even really quickly. Like that, even if I left it at this bet at three dollars, um, two hits and you're in positive territory. We got two of the people that won the giveaway saying they think it's too risky. Okay. It's up to you though, I mean. Just because you won the giveaway doesn't mean you have any say in what he does. Just so that. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm fine with it. <laughs> we're going to do all right. Yeah, that's right. He said we're here to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to gamble. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say that. What was that noise? It's like you, like, you know, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, was that me? Whip cream? Is that you? It's probably me. Sorry. Uh, that's funny. Streak. You've almost already doubled your wager amount. Really? Yeah, you came in here at like 11,000 wager amount, now you're at like almost 20. Oh shit, did I? What the fuck? What the What fuck? happened there? What happened? I don't know, click on the top. Click on the history and see what happened. Uh, where's history? The, the where's top history? Right? See the rolls? The gray and the Here? green rolls? Yeah, what's that? Or at the bottom too. Just hold down to you. Yeah, I yeah, think when he doubled, he went all in. I accidentally uh, doubled too much. All right, you know yeah. what? Yeah. I got a thirty some hundred dollar uh, weekly bonus, so I'm gonna bring it back for you guys. Let's see here. Uh, let's start with another thousand. This will just be my um. You lost bonus all your nine k also. What's that? You lost all your the new money like the nine thousand. No, 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 no. I got a weekly bonus of $3,500 or whatever. So I'm going to add $1,000 to this one. That, that oh, would be, that's that's all right. bonus money. Yeah. All right. You know what? We're going to go and we're just going to ride a couple double streets and see if we can't get it up, fellas. Man, what a terrible session. 
if anybody knows how to fix this, this is driving me nuts. I called them, I've cleared my cache, I've tried it on my different browser, nothing. I don't have any problems with any of the other servers. There we go, finally. Okay, we got $1,000 to play with, fellas. Let's see, how's it looking? And those are all been winners, huh? Except for the zeros. Wow, look at all those greens. I gotta tell you guys, it's gonna be all or nothing for a bit. All right. Oh, do we have? Oh, I thought that would take us up to a thousand dollars. Bad math. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I didn't cover my my. I didn't. I forgot to leave that. That's why I had two hundred dollars. Damn it, Jim. Come on, low. <laughs> Come on, low. Oh, suck. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, fellas. Let's we got 200 bucks. Let's see. Let's see if I can build it up to at least get us another $100 thing up here. Let's see oh, what is this? Oh my god. Damn. Oh my gosh. That would have been a win. Man. Would have been really nice if it was low because that would have been an extra 200 bucks, but son of a gun. Dumb oversight on my part. Sorry, fellas. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, all right. You know what's next? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. I'm feeling really terrible about this for you guys. Really terrible. <laughs> we got all the giveaway winners saying it's okay. No worries. That's gambling. Oh, let's see. You know what? I'll leave it up to you five. Uh, you can take $30 each or I can keep going until we hit zero. <laughs> until we hit zero. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going? All right. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break here and then I'm going to keep going and let's see. Rex said uh, all or nothing. All on black. All right. I don't know if I'll go all on black again because with 150, we could at least get it up to a reputable size where, you know, at least you guys would get something back. Um... Yeah. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. fight, fight, fight. Yeah. All right. We got 150. That's a 12, 22, 34, 4, 15. Let's just do reverse right now real quick with this. Man, I, shit, I can't believe I forgot that last double street. Hey, next time you guys see something, man, go, hey. Idiot, you forgot that double street. <laughs> I, was, I was watching chat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not you. It's, it's all on me, man. Come on now. So this would just be 15 bucks, but I want to see how it's spinning. There we go. All right. One of the winners a couple... even... oh, yeah, he is here. All right, there's a 135 bet.
Come on now. <laughs> this is the kind of day it's been. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Tell you what I am gonna do though, fellas. I'm going and I'll record it. I'm gonna play. I, I got some stuff to do today, but I'm gonna play really slow. I'm gonna keep this graph up. If I can get it back, <laughs> if I can get it back, the three thousand uh, dollars, and go above, I, I'll get you guys that money. I, I still really want to see you guys get something back and I don't want people going, I'm not tuning in next week for this shit. <laughs> so I'm sorry we burned out in flames. I apologize. Um, we'll give it a go next time, but I'll let, let me see what I can work some magic on the side when I'm not, I'm not live streaming and uh, see what we can do. Okay. Yep. That oh, works. That works. All right. Even, that's even over and above what you need to do anyways. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I'll, I'll be videoing it so that you guys can see, and I'm going to leave this graph so we can see exactly how that journey goes. But I've been down deeper than that before. So we'll see what we can do. And then whatever I get above, you guys will get it coming towards you. And then someone said you can do player to player if you have a stake account. I don't, I don't know if you have to contact customer service or what, but I've never seen any kind of player to player transfer in stake. So either, um, I'm happy to transfer via crypto or I'm happy to transfer via um, PayPal or uh, Venmo if I can get that far. So I actually if I get that far. Yeah. With the transferring, it's only on uh, stake.com. Oh, it's only on stake.com. Okay. Oh, that's right. yeah, that's yeah. weird. I don't know if it's regulations, but it's weird that they have some features on com versus US, but um, we'll see. So it'll have to be uh, PayPal, I guess. Um, so hopefully everybody, I mean, does anybody not have a PayPal account? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, all right, fellas, this concludes it. Um, I'll see if I can work some magic and uh, we'll give it another go uh, next week. All right. Cheers. Hey, we're at Fools. Brent AOB back after that disastrous first session. But we've been further down than this before. So not a big deal. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to play lightly across a couple different things, see how it goes. And then once I get figured out, but I wanted to record it so no one felt like I was doing anything illicit with this comeback. I've moved my money back into this, which is this is our entire balance, but I'm going to move most of it back out here in a second. Um, anyway, so if we look at our I'll pull up our balance of our game, but to be very, very clear with everybody, this is completely separate from anything I'm doing on the roulette challenge. If I had made money on this, that money was gonna to go to the five contestants. If I make money, if I rebound and make money, I'm gonna give that to the contestants uh, or the, the the winners of the draw, the people who won, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So this does not affect the balance whatsoever. Um, and those that think it does, that's okay. Uh, I'm not gonna... Do it because that's a completely separate animal. Even though the funds are the same, I'm keeping track of that in a whole separate tracker by itself. Anywho's, I'm gonna try this different thing. It's basically the same. You're, we're gonna move it to 70%. You lose, you double once, and then you go back down. It's very similar to the 9th Street Saturday. So I've disabled my, my keyboard so I can't accidentally, like I did in the thing, I somehow I accidentally double clicked too many times and it went up crazy, so. Let's just see how this goes. Um, it's kind of harder without it, but it slows you down, right? And unfortunately, because our graph is way down there, it's harder to see what we're actually making on this right now. Um, but we were down almost three, uh, we, I guess we were down to almost exactly $3,000 because that's what the balance was. So I'm just gonna play with this for a second and see how it goes. I do miss the keyboard because I don't have to keep moving my mouse. Um, and then we're going to get to work. 
I want to definitely go outside and get stuff done today, so I might have to resume this this, this, this evening. And in fact, there's no due date on this challenge, um, so I'll revisit this. If I don't get back to 3,000 right away, I'm going to write down our balance and uh, we'll resume because I really would love to see this get caught up in a, in a day or two, but I think I can get to it. All right. Let's see how this is going. All right. I need to, I need to re-enable <laughs> hotkeys. Uh, so, but I'll be a lot more careful. <laughs>
How about that? <laughs> 3,000 bucks, and it took us about 40, 80, yeah, maybe three hours, I think. Yeah, but we got all the three. Now, I can play for U5. So I'm going to take a break. We're going to come back and see. We can grab an extra 500 and call it a good day. I still have to do our roulette challenge today. Uh, anyway, nice job, team. We got this. All right, I'll be back. All right, we got back to even. So now we're playing for U5. Let's see if I can... Uh, my goal is 500. If it's super tough sledding, any profit we can get, I'll take it. But my goal is $500. So let's go. I'm going to slow it down. Every time I lose, I slow it down now. And uh, it's okay to take some losses. You get it back. If you saw the previous coming up to 3,000. Took some losses, had to take some chances, but uh, nothing extravagant, at least not to me. Although we did get up there with some pretty big bets, I guess. So just live to fight another day, huh? All right, come on, let's go. I think what I learned is next time we do live streaming, I'm just gonna play my game. I'm not gonna I want to make it interactive and for people to feel like it But I just I got to play my own way. I feel like I'm trying to play too much for I just got to play the way things I would do things um, I think everybody's like that Maybe I start playing how I think other people would want me to play and I just get out of my groove Plus it is kind of hard to talk and Be interactive like that this way, I'm just one way talking. It's no big deal. All right, we're almost approaching our first hundy, right? That's good news. I actually wanted to go back to uh, to live roulette to finish this off. Um, actually, at the beginning when I was starting the three thousand dollar comeback, um, I was going to go to live roulette. Um, that's where I feel most comfortable. And I mean, we've been down further than three thousand dollars before. All right, here we go. We're just crossed the first threshold. That's one of five, fellas. Let's keep it going here. Like right there, I didn't necessarily double up on that one. You know, Better to not break even on some of them. So sometimes when I'm running two in a row losses, I just keep the bet the same. I don't know if you noticed that. I mean, that was a long section, so most of you probably just skip to the end, which is great. All right, coming up on two. Let's see if we can make this easy. That was some tough sledding there at the end.
All right, crossing the two, coming up on 250. Okay, let's get that bet back down to three, huh? I have to remind myself of that sometimes, you know. You want to keep that bet as low as possible so you got as many progressions as possible. But the fact is, is when I got behind a couple times, you kind of have to step on it and just take those chances. All right, come on. And when it gets in this bouncing back and forth, I'm double, double, and then bring it down. Sometimes it bit me in the ass because I double, double, and it stayed in the losing sector. My neck, actually looking up at this camera, I think what I need to do, hold on. I don't know. I feel like I'm, anyway, ergonomically, I'm not feeling good, <laughs> if that makes sense. Actually, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to stand up. Okay, that's better. I think it's better. There. There, 300. Whoa. Sorry, cats. I got cats jumping all over the place. You know, I always feel like what I should tell myself is if your goal is 500, say it's 700, right? Because <laughs> somehow you always get up to those, you know, three quarters of the way there. And it's that last little bit, you know, of the marathon that you're like, oh, my God, this last mile is brutal. So I should always I kind of do that when I'm working out. I'll say, you know, figure you're going to 15, even if you're doing reps of 10, even if your mind knows you're bullshitting. <laughs> It, sometimes it helps. So I should have said I'm going to another thousand. Then making it halfway would have been easy. All right, approaching 400. Come on, get it there. My cat's knocking the lifesavers off my desk. <laughs> she likes getting up there and pawing everything, you know. Cats. All right. Cross that 400 threshold. Back, come on now.
All right, one quarter of the last way there. There we go. There we go. Come on, get it there. There it is. Halfway there. Halfway to the final on the final leg. 50 more. It's pretty much one spin on the on the roulette table, right? With $135 bet. What would be fun is at the end of this, if this were live and you got to we got to 500, tell everybody you can take your 100 or we can go to and do five double streets with it once, twice, as many times as you want. That'd be cool. Man, we're so close. I can taste this. I'm going to be really careful here. Like it doesn't want it. There we are. And there we are. Boom, motherfuckers. You know how good that feels? Oh, man. All right. We rallied back from $3,000 and up 500. Congratulations to our five winners. You will all have $100 coming to you. Hey, we're all relieved, right? I'm not down 3000 and you're up 100 which we weren't getting anything. All right, let's hope that the next giveaway goes a hell of a lot smoother than this one did. Anyway, super excited. Thank you. This was an amazing rally. I don't know. As painted as it, I was a little bit tired getting this long plane. I'm not used to going this low and slow, right? So um, it was a little bit tough. I'm ready for a beer and uh, to send it out. And that being said, um, there's one more. When you're finished watching this, I don't know if I'll add on to the end or I'll make a separate. I have a really cool bonus video that I made yesterday that I would love you all to see. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me, crew. And uh, man, I really love you guys. Be good humans. Be good to each other. Cheers.